So since I'm on my level 1 fletching, it turns out I only gain 1 XP for fletching a log. That's rather unfortunate. For the future, I'm going to be opening these supply crates in bulk, maybe 50 to 100 at a time, maybe even save them all up until I'm finished. But since this is my first one, I may as well open it and see if I get anything good. And well, there's cash right off the back. I already tripled my bank, so that's a pretty good start. Now that I've achieved 70 fire making, I think it's a good time to open some of these crates. I'm definitely eager to do so. There's quite a lot of them. Really nice to look at. Almost don't want to open them just because it's such a beautiful sight, but I'm going to do it. Really, really eager to. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, get at least one piece. Oh, that's awkward. You're kidding me. Ignoring that. At least I can watch the cash stack go up. Come on, give me a piece. Give me a piece. And no piece. But we have this now, which looks cool, I guess. Nice. Good. Got a piece. Just got level 20 construction all from winter time well from level 10 10 to 20 that's not too bad and three two one there we have it 80 fire making coming in strong didn't take too long only a couple of days and i think it is time to oh, look at that didn't know i could do that but i think it is time to open up another batch of crates and here we go Nothing yet, nothing yet. Come on, give me something, give me something. Nothing in the first. You're kidding. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's completely useless, but it's so cool. I got the fire chicken or whatever people call it these days. Imagine if I got the pet, but I didn't get any other pieces. Oh my gosh, just give me another piece, man. I mean, the pet's awesome, but... Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get the pet, but no other pieces. What are the odds of that? That's crazy, man. No other pieces. Oh my goodness, that's... The RNG on this account is so weird. Oh man, look at him just following me around. That's so cool, it's like third pet ever on the game, second skilling pet, but I think it's safe to say that this would be an even better pet. Oh man, why can't I get this guy to follow me? Winter Toad, that'd be awesome, man. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, finally got another piece after over a hundred crates and I got more gloves. Man. Are you serious, man? Oh my god. Three torches. Oh, if it weren't for the Phoenix, I don't know if I'd still be here. I'd be going absolutely insane. I'm, like, right on the edge. Three torches, man. I don't even need this. Just get rid of it. Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. I'll just collect them. I'll keep them in my bank and get the biggest collection in the whole game and everyone will respect me. Okay. I didn't even realize that I got magic logs. 
that actually makes up for getting the Brumatorch because those are really hard to get. That makes it so that I don't have to grind for them when I do Desert Treasure, and I'm only level 54 woodcutting, and apparently below like level 75, which is the requirement to cut them, they're extremely rare, so that's lucky, and I'm pretty happy about that. This guy claims that he's gotten three gloves in the last four crates. Assuming that's true, then I guess my luck really isn't that bad with the gloves. Me getting two gloves, yeah, I guess I can't complain, assuming that's true. Yes! I got a Pyromancer of Garb. Excellent. I finally got a piece. Put this bad boy. Maybe we could get another? Uh, not back to back. Oh, I'm so glad that I finally got a piece. More pages. Willow seeds. That's pretty good. Oh, some gold ore. That would be good for smithing. Okay, that was a nice batch of chests right there. What is with gloves and torches, man? I can't believe this, another pair. And there is 85 fire making. Finally achieved over 3 million experience. Total XP 3.6 mil. That's crazy considering that fire making is like the only thing I've done. Winter Taught just gives an immense amount of experience. But 85 is done, I'm just going to finish up this game, loot the last chest, and then move on from Winter Ted. Just finished opening the final crates. Unfortunately I didn't get any other pieces, but I am very happy to be done with fire making. I've been here for a very long time, and I can finally start knocking out some of the quests. Do Witch's House and lots of quests that grant combat experience so I can get my combat level up there. and be a little bit safer when running around the game. I don't really want to run around with 10 HP, so gotta fix that soon. As for all the loot that I got, put most of it in this tab right here. Most notably we got the magic logs and lots of other goodies that will be good for early skilling. And one of the other more notable things would be the 329k cash deck, which is just lovely to look at. That will make buying runes and various quest item requirements much much easier so very happy to have gotten a 300k plus cash deck and the final items that we got were the untradables three times the gloves three bruma torches one top and the lovely phoenix which i was very pleased to get but aside from that in the next few clips i will be working on quests very happy to get out of this place I am definitely going to be using this staff quite a bit in the next few episodes. This might be the end of the hardcore, taking on this massive grizzly bear. <laughs> Probably not a great idea, but I need it for the druidic quest, I think. Oh, well, I accidentally safe spotted it. Cool. First mark of grace down, a lot more to go. Right, and once we give this boy his ball back, we'll get a nice chunk of hit points experience, and that puts us at 25 hit points. That's like a nice little buffer right there. Just gonna use the chalice, and there we have it. Waterfall quest complete, and we have quite, <laughs> we just got 60 total level, already at past 500 total level just from this quest. It's honestly like a really overpowered quest. Just do it two and a half more times, then it'll be level 99 attack and strength. I mean, honestly, that's probably the best way to get to max. There is Fight Arena done. That puts us at 36 attack. We can nearly wield a Rune Scimitar without actually having to train any attack. That's pretty cool. Alright, after these gnomes do the little voodoo chant. Should be done with Tree Gnome Village. And let's see what this puts us for attack. Will this get us to 40? It will. And now we'll the rune scimitar without having to even train attack. This is such a nice convenience on this account. Now I can transport from basically Varrock all the way to Ardun just because of the spirit trees. Super convenient. Alright, how do I do the quest? Oh, that was weird. There's a bit of delay there. 
but there we have it. Not a very hard quest to get out of the way, but now I have unlocked cats, which I can farm for death runes. <laughs> Poor cats. I don't really like doing this, I always feel kind of guilty, but I really need those 200 death runes, so I gotta do it. I also just realized that I can't use my nice little phoenix friend here. I have to pick him up in order to farm the cats. And there is the Ardun Cloak 1 achieved, the unanimous item that every single Iron Man owns by now, is now mine. Oh, that looks nice. And with that, we now have Tree Gnome Stronghold completed. Loads of nice experience rewards, let's see what that puts us at. 21 agility, and 44 attack, 28 magic, not bad, good to get one out of the way. Right now I'm just going to try to knock out some early crafting levels. I'm going to kill some cows for the fence levels and cow hides and then get up to 10 crafting and then I can do bow strings and get up to I think somewhere around level 25 you can make the sapphire amulet which I can then enchant for a magic amulet. Once I get the magic amulet I can kill fire giants and get room scimitar. Right before embarking on the fire giant grind, I decided to take a little detour and complete the Lost Tribe quest and achieve the Ring of Life, which is a item that is almost imperative for all hardcore Ironmen to have. Very underrated for most accounts, but fairly important for a hardcore Ironman, so now I can be a little bit safer when doing quests and stuff. I never realized this, but I actually don't have any cosmic runes needed to enchant the sapphire necklace and the sapphire amulet into an amulet of magic and a games necklace so I'm gonna have to acquire some cosmic runes. There are a couple ways I could do that. I could kill a monster or I could go to mage bank but I'm gonna go ahead and try my luck with the sudoku puzzle. I've done it before and I don't really mind sudoku puzzles so I'm just gonna try to do it this way. I know it's probably something that most people wouldn't do but I'm gonna give it a go. So apparently before I can do the Sudoku puzzle, I have to do the Feud quest. And for those wondering, you can do this quest at a very low level if you safe spot using this chair. It was kind of a struggle finding a place where I could safe spot this guy. But I found out that this chair works pretty well because nothing else works. Like the cacti don't work. This plant right here doesn't work. But this chair does, so if anyone's having an issue with doing this quest, you can use this chair as a nice little safe spot. Hey, there we go, feud quest done. 15k thieving XP, nice little chunk of XP there. Yes, I think I just... Come on, please tell me that's right. Oh my gosh, I did it. It took forever. <laughs> that's no joke. That's actually pretty hard. Is this out of stock? Oh yes. Give me those cosmic runes. And what will the first kill be? I didn't know you got an achievement diary for that, but just coins and big ones. I'll probably get a lot of parallels from doing this. In the last hardcore, I got the rune scimitar between 10 and 20 kill count, so I don't know if I can expect to be that lucky again, but you never know. Already got a rare drop table drop with the 67 nature runes. It's a lot better than a lot of the rare drop table drops. Like, I'm glad it wasn't something like Addy Javs or something. So, better than nothing, but imagine if that was a dragon square left half or a dragon spear. Oh my gosh. My kitten was on the brink of death because I didn't bring enough food, but then I got the lobster drop, so my cat is saved. Hooray! <laughs> Hey, just got the rune scimitar. Didn't take too long, definitely under the drop rate. I got it maybe in around 50 kills, probably somewhere between 40 or 50. That would be my best guess, but yeah, that's lucky. I got it under the drop rate. The first one I got it about 10 kill count on my old account, but get it in under 50 is pretty good, so I'll take it. I'm very happy to get that. Now, seeing as I just obtained my rune scimitar, I think that that will be a good place to wrap up episode number two. In the next episode, I'll probably just grind some skills and get some quests out of the way and 
Yeah, it'll be nice. It's just to get my total level up, get total quest points up, knock out some of the requirements for RFD, train some more cats up, and I get those death runes. But yeah, I think that's going to be all for today, so thanks for watching, and take care.